so welcome back everyone today in this video i will be discussing about a very common problem that comes on your windows 10 and 11 where all your ram are not fully usable so when you come to the about section of your windows 10 or 11 and here in the installed ram you will find your ram that has been uh, inserted in your motherboard that is 8 gigabyte on my end but on the right of it you can see it says 4.86 gb usable so basically that indicate that I would be only able to use 4.86 gigabyte of my memory and that's a big problem for me and it can be for you as well. Now fortunately we have a good solution here. So first what you have to do you need to close it. Click on your windows search. Type msconfig and in the suggestion you will be getting the system configuration. You need to click on it. Then here from the top menu option you will have to click on boot. Then click on advanced option. And here you have to assure the maximum memory option has been unchecked. If it's been checked, then you need to uncheck it. Then you will have to click on OK. Click on Apply and click on OK again. Now it will ask you to restart. So go ahead and quickly restart it. All right, so the computer has been restarted. And this time if I again go to the settings, then I will go to system and scroll down to the bottom and click on about bingo now you can see the installed ram on my end it shows me 8 gigabyte and there is not any kind of foundation any kind of limitation cap so i can now use my whole ram here and probably on your end also the problem has been fixed but in case still if it shows you that there is certain amount only usable next what you can do again click on your video search type ms config or system configuration click on it go to the boot section click on advanced option again click on maximum memory here and it will automatically detect a number here so whatever the number it's been detected that will be depending on your ram just keep it selected and click on ok and again go ahead and restart the computer and then hopefully it will be utilizing the whole ram that you have installed on your device so this is the alternate method in case the first method doesn't work for you Okay, now let's move with the next method where we will be using the registry editor. So click on your window search, type registry. Click on registry editor from the suggestion. Click on yes. Now here from the left hand menu option, you will have to double click on HK local machine. Then look for system, double click on it. Then look for current control set, double click on it. Then double click on control. And in the control, you have to scroll down to the S section and you have to look for session manager. Here it is. Once you get the session manager, again, make a double click on it. And in the session manager, you have to look for memory management. Make a click on it. And once you click on it on the right hand side, you will find clear page file at shutdown. This one, make a double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 1. Now keep in mind, this method you only have to apply in case if the first method doesn't work for you. Okay, so type 1, click on OK. And then again, you can go ahead and restart the computer. So these are the two effective solution guys that you can apply. But in case if both these two methods doesn't work for you, then finally what you will have to do, if you're using a PC or even a laptop, then you will have to try swapping your RAM in a different slot. Okay, so the maximum PC and laptop motherboard comes with a, a dual slot of the RAM. So if you're using only one stick of RAM, then you can just take it out and connect to another slot. And if you're already using two stick in a two different slot, then you can try swiping them from one to another. And this will be your final solution in case method one or method two doesn't work. And hopefully guys, after applying this method, I'm very sure that you will be getting the solution here. So please let me know in the comment section which method will work for you. And if it has worked for you, then make sure you also hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.